In this section, we'll talk about uh, financial risk. It's a substantial area and we should develop our ability to read financial statements effectively because carrying out financial risk involves substantial reading of financial statements. We should be able to interpret each and every ratio. We should be able to derive some logical conclusion from those ratios and that is going to significantly impact this credit risk analysis. Okay, First, in financial risk, we are going to carry out this analysis by dividing it into three parts. Part one will be focusing on ratios. Part two will be addressing or will be carrying out certain risk analysis related to financial matters. And part three will also be looking into some qualitative factors. Okay, So ratios again here is divided into three recent ratios which will have more weightage okay but we'll we should also consider or compare the recent ratios with past average ratios okay what is the trend whether recent ratios are improving or deteriorating so what is the impact based on that we can understand whether the borrower is moving in positive direction or negative direction and not only the recent not only the past we should also look into their future prospects okay what plans they have in pipeline how they are expecting their ratios financial position i mean performance to move in future okay all those will be analyzed here we'll be taking each and every ratio i'll be taking you through which are all the important ratios which are all the average and which are all the least ratios okay so we'll be discussing each and every one then We'll also be looking into the risk matters because uh, when you lend to a firm and if that firm is part of a group then you should also look into the group risk because if the firm is doing well and if the group is not doing well then in all likelihood the firm which is doing well could also become sick over a period of time because of the push or pull from the say group units if they are not doing well they probably take some money from your borrower and eventually your borrower firm will also become weak so that should also be addressed by carrying out this group risk analysis and if your borrower has substantial forex transaction either in terms of import or export then that borrower is also exposed to forex risk okay so that should also be analyzed and that should also be given weightage okay then qualitative factors that is let us not confine our analysis only to the financial statements because financial statements will disclose only what is accounted but there can be many items which are not accounted but they are likely to have significant impact on the operations of your borrower okay one of those items are contingent liabilities but thanks to various accounting standards the developments that have taken place those contingent liabilities are now made mandatory to be disclosed in the financial statement so even though they are not accounted they are disclosed because of the compulsion from law because of compulsion from accounting standards and bankers will get to know what is there in store for this borrower in the coming years because there can be or there were various scenarios where balance sheet was very healthy and when the credit risk analysis of the customer was conducted analyzed when financial risk analysis was done everything looked pretty but when contingent liability aspects were analyzed okay everything turned upside down because contingent liability had a big shock so we'll be discussing those cases gradually when we take up case studies and all okay so we'll look at this contingent liabilities we'll also look at uh, qualifying remarks of auditors See, the financial statement may be showing profits, financial position may be good. This is prepared by the management. Okay, financial statements are prepared by the management. But auditor is not in concurrence with what is disclosed as profit or auditor is not in concurrence with the financial position presented in the balance sheet. So auditor is having some qualifying remarks okay that is going to have significant impact okay company reporting profit but auditor is saying that uh, 
had this expense been factored this company would have reported loss so that got to be given weightage we'll be analyzing them then accounting policies as far as the companies are concerned they are supposed to follow accounting policy which are permitted and they are supposed to disclose and if they are deviating they have to give a reason okay say for example inventory valuation okay inventory valuation accounting standard permits two methods but if the customer is following your borrower is following say third method fourth method fifth method which are not in the permitted methods then that is going to impact your credit risk analysis as well because your customer becomes uncomparable with other customers or your customer is not complying with the norms of the country the financial statements of your customer your borrower is becoming uncomparable and as a banker you may not be able to take some critical decisions okay so all these qualitative factors also will take into consideration while carrying out this financial risk okay so please understand this is only an introductory session we'll be going into each and every matter in the following sessions thank you for watching this video hope you liked it if you wish to learn more on this topic do check our comprehensive online course i have given the link in the description below if you like this video lecture do not forget to click on that like share and subscribe button with bell icon